Well, I thought I'd give you an update on our wind spinner project here. And I had one layer before and decided to go with two with a plastic straw put through the middle. And then I used some, uh, I guess you would call it airplane glue. And uh, I tried them back to back the other way. They didn't seem to want to fit well, so I thought mm -hmm. I would try this, a double staggered. And to get them to stay, I glued a little ring of paper towel around between the two segments to keep them more level. Mm -hmm. And I got a couple of uh, suggestions from some of my viewers and one of them with PA Prepper and uh, a few others, black and tan, and suggested I put a post in between. So I used the straw to kind of stabilize it so that it didn't flop around so much. And so far it looks pretty good. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna set down the phone for a minute. And uh, it seems to, in this position, it seems to be able to rotate fairly easy. So, so we're going to try this. I, I'm not going to cap off the end to keep it from flying off in the wind until I know for sure. It's where I want it, and from the pattern of the red on the blue, when it's spinning in the wind, it should make a red ring going around. So, uh, we're going to try that. See how this works. We have a uh, store-bought wind spinner here, but uh, it got one of its paddles broke off, so the red doesn't really spin right, so I'm going to try breaking one off the bottom, because um, I like it, so we're not going to get rid of that. And then uh, our strawberries got overgrown, but... Uh, We've got some volunteers in here. We have a purple cone flower that's coming up in the middle. And some of them, the strawberries are doing better. Some, the weeds. Uh, it's got wild carrot growing in it with Queen Anne's lace. We uh, put some of our peppers in here and gave them a little bit of shade from the plants above it. Uh, give them a chance to get used to being in the sun in the afternoon. Our uh, two peppers got transplanted. They're doing great. The okra is starting to touch the screen, so we're almost about ready to take that screen off. And in the corners, we got dill coming up. It looks almost like a carrot, but that's dill. And then we have some uh, mulberry trees already potted up. And I moved some strawberries that uh, were in the way, but uh, I didn't want to get rid of them yet, so we put them in there. But as you can see, everything in the garden seems to be doing well. In the middle there, there's a couple holes dug. That's uh, squirrel activity, but they seem to go after the open dirt. They're not really hurting any of the plants. They're just looking for a bean or whatever, which there isn't any. And our cabbage plant is blooming away and producing lots of seeds, so it's doing very well. The potatoes are doing very good. Uh, 
there's a potato beetle. Now I'll have to get rid of him. And then our beans are just loaded with blooms. And the peas. We got peas growing. And the corn is looking better. And here's a closer look of the beans. We got flowers everywhere. So we're doing good. The radishes are blooming. The parsley is blooming. So we're going to leave that alone. We've even got a forget me not over here blooming. And a rogue potato from compost. So you never know what's going to come up. We're really enjoying the garden. In the far side there, we even got a couple celery stumps that are doing excellent. Cucumbers we covered. And they get afternoon sun from the back through the tree as well. And we planted a marigold to attract beneficials and pollinators. We got a cauliflower plant looking good. We got celery. The sun kind of wilted a few plants a little bit when the sun came out. So we put a little uh, shade device on here just to filter the sun a little bit from these plants because they were really fainted. And the sun seems to have gone behind the clouds right now. And we got a romaine. And we've been side picking off of this one because we wanted to uh, go to seed. So, not bad. We're doing good. we got some tomatoes over here starting to perk up too. So, uh, hope that encourages some more gardeners. Well, in the fire in the back there, the cucumbers are coming up too. So, uh, Hope you have a good garden day as well. Talk to you soon.